You have all these expensive headphone mixing plugins which emulate fancy well-known rooms, have hat tracking, different speakers and more of that. And here comes Hornet plugins and drops a headphone mixing plugin that is for sale for 11 bucks right now. But is it any good? Granted, the name Hornet VHS reminds me of an 80s inspired tape effects plugin, but it stands for Virtual Headphone System. Hornet VHS really is a no BS kind of plugin, with an interface that is mostly functional. What amazes me the most about this plugin is the inclusion of all these headphone equalization correction curves. It's a vast list, but not all the most common headphones are included, like the DT990 Pro. I wonder how Hornet plugin has acquired all of these curves in a plugin as cheap as this one. Did they measure it themselves, acquired it somehow, ripped it? I don't know. But included are good correction curves for, for instance, the Odyssey LCD XC, Audio Technica ATH M50X, and even AirPods. The curves displayed in the plugin nicely match up when you measure them. And I really love the correction for this Audio Technica ATH M50X. It nicely gets rid of the aggressive 4K peak this headphone has for a much better listening experience. Speaking about having an experience, if you like this video so far, please subscribe to stay up to date on the latest cool plugins. This video is sponsored by DistroKit, which is a popular choice for musicians looking to get your music onto streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. It's fast, easy to use and affordable. Plus, with DistroKit, you'll keep 100% of the royalties you earn. Give it a try and see why so many artists are using DistroKit to distribute their music. Get 7% off of your first year by using the link in the description. Now, the room emulation in this VHS plugin is not as much on your nose as the ones from, for instance, Waves. And the emulation is rather subtle. This is something that is refreshing to me because I do not always want a sound, I just want the benefits of a headphone mixing plugin like Crosstalk, which means how much sound from one speaker bleeds into the other ear and room reflections without, with this plugin, an obvious sound. You would use a headphone mixing tool like this one when you don't have proper speakers and reliable acoustics in the space where you mix, to give you somewhat of those important benefits you get from mixing on monitor speakers. If you mix purely on headphones, you get easily too much reverb or an unbalance in your mix. Think of a snare which is too loud. The sound of the room emulations can be changed here by turning these two dials. And when you turn these, you change position of the listener and speaker. You can hear changes in how the low end goes from more focused to more diffused and changes in stereo image, very much like you would experience when listening on speakers. In my opinion, Hornet VHS does a good job of providing you with a tool to check how your mix would sound on speakers when you don't have access to any. Worth checking out. Now there are many other headphone mixing tools and you can find those which I reviewed in the playlist which is displayed on screen and linked in the description.